So I got a few minutes in between my first meeting and my second meeting, you know. So I wanted to do this video because I was on Instagram, of course, and I seen somebody tell um, Kim Kardashian in the comments, okay, you did your law thing, now take Kanye back. And I'm like, no, why take him back if it's a toxic relationship? And the person, which is a woman, gonna say, well, she knew he was toxic before they got together. Ah, pump those motherfucking brakes again because you can be with somebody and they can seem cool on the surface level and do all the right things every time they come around, every single instance. And then you can get married to a person and the shit that you thought was so cute, you realize that it was a cover for some other shit that they didn't want you to see, identify, or recognize. Not to mention, one of the things that I heard my brother Kevin Gates say the other day is something that I've said a long time is, you know, when I was in religion, deep in religion, I literally used to always tell people, stay together, stay together, stay together. And then I realized that I was encouraging people to stay in toxic situations that was not healthy for them or the partner or the children from the relationship. And what it taught me, because I was in a toxic relationship also, so I'm encouraging somebody else to, it might get better, but they fighting, they going through it, they more miserable than they are happy. And we think that, well, y'all married, so y'all gotta make it work. No, if you are living in a toxic situation, if you are in a toxic relationship or an environment and you have the ability to get free and be free and remove yourself from that toxic situation, please do it because you should not have to suffer because you assume, thought, or believed had higher expectations or seen the potential in somebody that could not live up to it. So don't, just because you went and got married, first off, this is one of the reasons why I tell people, or not tell, I can't make you tell you or anything. This is why I don't suggest that people get married extremely fast. Because when you marry too quickly, you can, uh, marrying quickly don't mean in the first three months. It don't mean in the first year. Matter of fact, it might not mean in the most first two or three years in most cases, because a lot of times, one, if you're not around a person every day, if you're not living with a person, like I think I believe in living together before marriage. Like once you get engaged, y'all start, y'all get engaged, move in and figure out or stay with each other enough to where it's like you live there so that you can figure out will a uh, marriage work? Because it's easy to love somebody while y'all don't live together. It's easy to love somebody if you travel all the time and y'all don't see each other regularly. But when you got to sit your ass down in that house together, when you actually trying to build something together, when you actually, what you do, realize rather, what you do affects the, what the other person do, then you kind of consider things different because so many things affect a relationship. And, <clears throat> and a lot of times we don't realize that when we jump in a relationship real quick, you might see all the good, best parts. And I think I talked about this in another video because Lil Duval said that, that he liked to move in super quick to see if the relationship is gonna work. And I don't really wanna move in too quick. One, I got my own house. So I believe that it's easy for a person without nothing to move in real quick, cause you ain't got shit to lose. You ain't leaving shit. You know, if you're staying with your parents, then you know, you happy to get the fuck out of there. But um, when you move in, you're actually able to see how that person lives. Do they clean up? Will they clean up after themselves? Do they clean up after their kids? Do their kids clean up after themselves if they got kids? If it's just you and them, 
You get to see how they manage money, how they pay bills. It was a lot of things that I seen after I moved in with my ex-husband that really I should have left <laughs> way before we got to the point of marriage because it was things that on the surface level, it looked good. But when I start being who I am, I start looking at shit, figuring out shit, you know what I'm saying? Calculating the shit that what he's saying versus what it really, you know what I'm saying? The what he doing, which is telling me that it's really something different. When I started doing that, it changed everything because I started finding the shit that he was having. The reason why I look into people the way I do now is because before my ex-husband, I didn't know any better to look into people, to see who they were behind what they're showing you because a person will always put on their best face in front of you even when you first get into a relationship everything is gonna always seem sweet in the beginning but guess what when a person feels comfortable when they feel like you're not going nowhere or even if they have changes this is the thing about why i don't really like to do a lot of um work with like people that are in couples um if they're not on the same page mentally and why i don't do people in relationships and only one of them is trying to get help because normally if you meet each other in broken toxic survival mode then if you begin to grow if y'all not truly aligned at the soul if y'all purpose is not really meant to go together then when y'all grow y'all gonna start growing in separate directions it doesn't matter if you're growing education wise spiritually financially Normally, who you choose at your lowest, at your most vulnerable, at your most weirdest place is not the person that you would choose if you in a different mental space and in a more healthy area of your life. It doesn't mean the other place is unhealthy, but for growth for you could make whatever was before a more healthier version of you. So in this instance, when it talk, comes to Kim and Kanye, one he one, as soon as he got saved he started trying to say change her he ain't wanted to do no more um provocative uh photos he ain't wanted to do this he ain't wanted to do that and instead of allowing her to grow out of it which she probably won't because and and no actually she probably will grow out of it as she begins to pursue law more because she wants to be taken more seriously it's changing the course of her legacy so those type of things and then i i think about i listen to what songwriters rappers and people say this is the reason one of the reasons why i don't like to listen to a lot of music because if you listen to their songs they be telling you what the fuck is going on he got a whole song that say uh, <laughs> she get uh when he talk about bleaching the asshole and he get bleach on his t-shirt is he gonna feel like an asshole and then say something say it yeah you she get on your nerve if you let her she and then he be like i don't even want to talk about it. i don't even want to say nothing everybody gonna say something look if you listen to what people are saying you will hear what they mean now People always try to make shit look good. I'm telling you, like, you could think you know a person. You could be friends with a person. Man, I got one of my closest friends I've been knowing for about 22 years or so, maybe more. And in the course of me knowing him, I realized that he doesn't always tell me the truth because I think that he's embarrassed that I will uh, or he's ashamed of how I would view him now. He know me. He know I ain't going to look at him no type of way. But I am going to tell him about himself if I get the opportunity. Um, or if it's needed. But I know him now. Like now that I've seen those patterns, I know, you know what I'm saying, those patterns. But before then, before us talking and him opening up to me more comfortably as my friend... It allowed me to know him more. So if a person is always gone, always on the road, always got camera crews around, all of that shit, you can be around a person all the time and not really know that person because they're always on. This is the reason why I like to meet people who are known as celebrities in different environments other than them as a celebrity. Like if you out in public 
at an event, you might act different than if you out in public with your family or if you just out kicking up bobos at the club, you know what I'm saying? Or if you like on a movie set, you might act different on a movie set than what you do when you outside of that movie set, when you just at home chilling. But until you experience a person outside of their realm of work and being on, you might not know that person. So you could think you love a person. You could spend time with a person all the time. And then you realize that, that you ain't really know the person to begin with. And you realize that because as you begin to be more intertwined and you get closer. And now as when you get married, you like required <laughs> to become closer to the person that you're marrying. And when you do that, though, you're exp getting exposed to their soul a little bit more. And sometimes... We may not like it. We may not even realize it, honestly. But what I've learned is that sometimes people ain't who you hope that they could be. Sometimes potential is, this is the reason why potential isn't enough. Because a lot of times we look at somebody's potential and then we don't even consider the fact that they might not see themselves the way we see them. They may not be able to live up to or they may just be talking. A lot of people talk about what they want to do and all that, da, 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 and then they don't live up to it. So that's all. I got to go for this class now. Talk to you later. I love you. Hope this helped. Speaking Freedom presents Good Head Group providing advanced spiritual studies and personal developmental insight. Brought to you by Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We look forward to helping you grow in all the areas of your life. We hope that you find all the information needed for your growth. God bless. Please listen to all disclaimers provided. If you are currently under physician's care, please maintain that relationship. This is not intended to stop your current treatment plan. If you need physician care, please seek out medical attention. Please note all results are based on the individual's ability to adapt and adjust to any given environment and situation. We are not responsible for your results at Speaking Freedom. The life enhancement coaches at Speaking Freedom provide information to help you grow. You are responsible for maintaining that growth, taking on and then applying the information to your individual life as you deem needed and necessary. This may contain and explain explicit content. Please use parental discretion. For best results, you will need an open mind, the ability to research and a balanced lifestyle. Please join us daily for your inspiration and motivation. We have the entire world to offer you at your fingertips. Your life enhancement coaching specialist. Thank you for choosing us to assist you in accomplishing your personal and professional goals. And have a beautiful day. In love, we trust. This is brought to you by Good Head Group, Love Gang and Speaking Freedom. We thank God for you and we love you. Hi, I'm Casey. Dr. Casey, to be exact, owner of Speaking Freedom LLC, Love Gang and Good Head Group LLC. I am also a certified life coach and host of Speaking Freedom Radio and TV. Although I have recently became an ordained minister, please be aware that I am still me, raw and uncut the way God made me and allowed life to shape me. I pray and expect God to use me for people who can receive the way I communicate as well as my delivery. I am not for those who are already saved, religious, or super deep. I am for the leaders, hustlers, and street influencers around the world, including pimps, killers, drug dealers, and working girls. I am sharing my experiences and perspective to help someone be inspired to be better. And for those who can identify with the various aspects of my mindset. My mindset alone does not determine the status of any active connections or current relationships that have not already been specifically addressed. Additionally, these recordings should not be taken personally if I have not already spoken to you about the topic or expressed that I have an issue. These recordings are a part of my life's work to document my experience, perspective, and to see how life has shaped me. 
My plan in using my stories publicly and socially is to encourage growth in those who can identify with the experiences and find inspiration in my life to heal and overcome the path that they've been set on, no matter what they face as according to the purpose of their soul until healing takes place. Despite the experiences that I may have had with any person, sometimes known and unknown, I hold no grudges, no no hate, no bitterness, or any other ill feelings against anyone. I pray that your life is whole and very fruitful. I forgive you as I hope that you forgive me if I have wronged you or anyone that you know or anyone who listens to me. I pray that you have peace and extend the same grace to others. I have love for everyone, especially on a human level, despite flaws or experiences. But that doesn't mean that I will associate or be close to every human that I know or meet. I've experienced a very eventful life and truly believe that my mindset and story based on experiences could help those who identify with how I think and are looking for inspiration to grow further, go beyond hurt, and be great. I pray that these recordings bless you and your soul in every way and whatever way God has intended. Sending love and light to all. Thanks for listening. Achieve your dreams.